Hello students in our today's video we will study a very interesting topic known as parts of a plant in this module we will learn about the different parts of the plants and their functions students before going further if you have not subscribed to my channel please do it right now so that you can get my next chapters as well so let's begin in this module you will learn to identify the basic parts of a plant and the functions of different parts of a plant first the root the part of the plant that grows under the soil is called root you cannot see it above the ground in the diagram you can see there is a tree and below the ground you can see there are roots and when you see the plant from up you don't see the roots so the part of the plant that grows under the soil is called root now there are two types of roots tap roots and fibrous roots let's study about them in detail tap root thick main root below the stem which goes deep into the soil is called tap root there are several thinner side roots that grow from the main root examples balsam hibiscus bean and mustard plants kids in this diagram you can see that below the stem there is a long root which is going in the soil now you can see the branches of the root there are small thinner side roots and the main root is thick so this type of root is known as tap root now fibrous roots fibrous roots have no main root a number of roots that grow at the end of the stem are called fibrous roots this looks like a bunch of roots example plants like rice wheat and onion have fibrous roots you can see the diagram there is no main root there are many roots there's like bunch of roots so this type of roots are called fibrous roots now kids why are roots important no plant can live or grow without roots hence roots are very important roots hold a plant firmly to the soil second roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and then pass them to the plant third some roots store food for the plant so again i'll repeat there are three functions of root it will help the plant firmly to the soil second it absorbs water and minerals from the soil and pass them to the plant and third some roots store food for the plant now some special roots are there roots of plants like carrot turnip radish and beetroot they all store food and that's why we can eat them now let's study shoot the part of the plant that grows above the soil is called the shoot it has the stem now branches leaves bud flowers and fruits grow on the stem look at the diagram here kids can you see a stem yes there are leaves fruits flower and bud on the stem so the whole part is known as shoot or shoot system the stem some plants have soft stems while others have hard stems plants like banana have soft and thick stem can you see the diagram here can you see the stem of banana it's green and soft and it is thick now some plants like the money plant have very weak soft and thin stems they need support to grow upwards these plants are called creepers creepers like sweet pea and money plant need support can you see the diagram here the first one is grape vine which is a creeper pea and money plant some plants like the mango banyan neem peepal etc have very strong and thick stems 
This part of the tree is called a trunk. Now kids, can you see the diagram here? The thick part of the tree, the strong and thick stem is known as trunk. Now there are some special stems. The stems of some plants like potato, ginger, onion, sugarcane, etc. store food in them. Okay, the stems that store food and that is why we can eat them. Now let's study shoot. The part of the plant that grows above the soil is called functions of the stem. Why are stems useful? The stem supports the upper parts of a plant. It carries water and minerals from the roots to the other parts of the plant. It carries food made in the leaves to the other parts of the plant. Some stems like sugarcane, potato and ginger store food. So these stems can be eaten. So there are four functions of stem. I'll repeat. Stem supports the upper part of the plant. Second, it carries water and mineral from the root to the other parts of the plant. Third, it carries food made in the leaves to other parts of the plant. Fourth, some stems like sugarcane etc. store food. So, we can eat them. Now, leaves. The leaf is an important part of a plant because it produces food for the whole plant. Most plants have green leaves and it grows on the branches of a plant. They differ in size and shape. The green color of the leaf is due to chlorophyll. I repeat, the green color of a leaf is due to chlorophyll. Leaves. The flat part of the leaf is called leaf blade. The upper part on the leaf is smooth and darker in color than the lower part. The lower side is rougher and lighter in color. Here I have taken two pictures of two different types of leaves. In the first pic you can see the upper part of the leaf is darker and smoother. And you can see the lower part is slightly light in color. See the other diagram. Here also the first upper part is darker and the second pic wherein I have turned the leaf is lighter in color. Now different parts of leaves. The fine lines on the leaf are the veins of a leaf. In the middle of the leaf, see in the diagram, can you see the middle of the leaf? Okay, in the middle of the leaf blade, we can see the main vein. This main vein is known as midrib. We can also see many smaller and thinner veins connected to the main vein midrib. They are called side veins. The veins give support to the leaf. The leaves get water through these veins. On the underside of a leaf, that is below the leaf, not on front, the underside of the leaf. On the underside of a leaf blade are tiny pores. They are called stomata. The plant breathes in air through the stomata. The extra water is released through the stomata. So what is stomata kids? From where all the gases and water exchange take place. That part is known as stomata. And where is it present? It is present on the underside of the leaf. What are the functions of a leaf? Why is a leaf useful for the plant? Why is it important? The main function of a leaf is to make food for the plant. A leaf makes food in the presence of sunlight using water, carbon dioxide and chlorophyll. This process is called photosynthesis. So we can say that leaf is the kitchen of the plant. It prepares its food with the help of sunlight, water, carbon dioxide and chlorophyll. Now leaves. The leaf is an important part of a plant because it produces food for the whole plant. Most plants have green leaves and it grows on the branches of a plant. They differ in size and shape. The green color of the leaf is due to 
chlorophyll i repeat the green color of a leaf is due to chlorophyll you will understand this process with the help of this diagram very well see here there is a plant and in the plant there is a green color pigment known as chlorophyll now you can see the light energy is coming from the sun carbon dioxide is coming from the air and water is coming from the soil through the roots it is passing on the stem and through stem it goes to the leaves now in the leaves there is chlorophyll so what will happen in leaf leaf will prepare food with the help of light energy carbon dioxide water with the help of chlorophyll after food is prepared it gives out oxygen the plants give out oxygen which we breathe and also it prepares sugar sugar is the food for plant i will repeat the process see the diagram again you can see a green plant green plant has chlorophyll in the leaves now green plant is absorbing light energy from the sun carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil water is reaching to the leaf through the roots and then through the stem it is traveling and reaching to the leaves now in the leaves all the raw materials mix together to form food which is sugar what is the raw material light energy carbon dioxide water they all mix together in the presence of chlorophyll to form sugar and oxygen is released and this oxygen we take in we breathe in this oxygen so plants give us oxygen and prepare their own food by this process known as photosynthesis now here is a recap so leaves are called the kitchen or food factory of the plant the food goes to all parts of the plant through the stem a part of the food made by leaves is used by the plant to grow the remaining part of the food is stored where is it stored in the seeds stems roots fruits or leaves the lettuce spinach cabbage etc store food in the leaves now during photosynthesis leaves give out a gas called oxygen which i already told you which is breathed in by all the living things now please note here that the stomata are usually open during the day and close at the night so when do plants make food they make food during the day now we we'll learn about flowers fruits and seeds there is a very interesting relationship among flowers fruits and seeds that we will study further leaves the flat part of the leaf is called leaf blade the upper part on the leaf is smooth and darker in color than the lower part the lower side is rougher and lighter in color here i have taken two pictures of two different types of leaves in the first pic you can see the upper part of the leaf is darker and smoother and you can see the lower part is slightly light in color see the other diagram here also what are the functions of a flower the flower grows into a fruit wow we get a fruit from where we get fruit from flower after the flower dries up we get a fruit second the flower helps the plant to reproduce means to produce its young ones you need a flower reproduction of the plant happens in flower what are fruits the flowers of different plants grows into fruits fruits are fleshy tasty and juicy most of the fruits contain seeds inside them some fruits have only one seed others have a number of seeds some fruits have no seeds some fruits like papaya and watermelon contains many seeds inside them some fruits like oranges apples etc contain a few seeds inside them some fruits like mango peach etc contain only one seed inside them some fruits like banana have no seeds 
what is the importance of fruits a fruit is tasty and juicy to eat it stores food of the plant second a food protects the seed within it from these seeds new plants grow what are seeds most plants grow from their seeds each seed contains a baby plant inside them it is protected by the outer part of the seed which also stores food for the baby plant the baby plant grows when the seed gets air water and sunlight it keeps growing till it becomes an adult plant here in the diagram can you see the seed in the second diagram the seed has started budding can you see then small roots are growing then the seed is coming out a stem is growing and it grows into a big plant having stem leaves and buds and under the ground it has roots so seed has grown into a new baby plant what are the functions of seed every seed has a baby plant within it which grows into a new plant now kids i'll explain you the relationship between flower fruit and seeds on the right hand side can you see a bud yes from the bud a flower is bloomed from the flower a fruit is born from the fruit when you eat the fruit and you leave the seeds so from fruit seeds are taken out from these seeds again a new plant is formed from the plant bud is formed again flower is made from a flower a fruit is born from fruit seeds come out so the cycle keeps on repeating from flower to fruits to seeds kids if you have enjoyed learning using this video please give your valuable comments to grow our channel also please tap on the bell icon and please subscribe us thank you